up guys Oscar here with a new video and this is discussing my this is going to be discussing Ryan Kerrigan signing with the Philadelphia Eagles uh, but before I talk about that I'd like to remind you all that if you're new to my channel you like Washington football team content NFL content you like um, Real Madrid or European soccer content this is a channel for you so I would appreciate it if you give me a subscribe hit that sub button down below give me a like share the video with your friends and family comics like to know your thoughts so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's get started. Oh boy. Um, this is a tough pill to swallow. This is really, really hard to, to talk about. Um, man, Ryan Kerrigan, this is, the, this is the way that you repay Washington? Now look, I understand, you know, Washington, you know, uh, m m you know, didn't, um... Probably, you know, the new regime probably didn't treat you right. You know, they didn't give you enough snaps. But what did you expect? You know, Montes, it's it's time for, for, for a younger guy's game. Um, So, you know, you, like, eh. And I guess also, you know, I, you know, the new regime did tell him, look, you're probably not going to be our main priority right now um, to resign. You know we're 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 good here with Montez Sweat, um, you know Chase Young, and here's the thing, um, I do wanna I, I don't wanna thank Ryan Kerrigan just yet, uh, just because he signed with the Philadelphia Eagles. He signed with the Philadelphia Eagles, you know him returning to Washington. So yesterday it's he said that he wasn't gonna return to the Washington Football Team at all, and then of course this morning it comes out that he is signing with the Philadelphia Eagles, an NFC East team. Wow. Seriously? Wow. Um, we have to face Ryan Kerrigan twice a week now. Tw twice a year, rather. Ugh, th that That is just really, really hard to swallow. Um, you know, that's... Mm. But um, anyways, uh, so, you know, like I said, um, it just it's really hard to talk about. I'm disappointed in Ryan uh, Kerrigan uh, for you know signing with a with an NFC East rival. You know that you know you you pay back Washington with with this. Now, like I said, um, I understand where you're coming from. Not um, signing guys, um, you know, not not treating you the last regime, not treating you right, not giving you enough snaps. I guess you weren't thrilled with the snaps that you were given. But here's the thing. You were an all-time sack leader with Washington. You had 95 sacks with Washington. And, you know, you, you had other offers. You know, from what I heard, Cincinnati was looking at you. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers were looking at you. And, and you decided to go, really, to, to here, um, to, to Philadelphia. So, I, you know, to each their own. But, um... You know, just just know, Ryan, that you know Washington will remember this, and and you will, um, you know, suffer the consequences if you're not able to sack whoever the quarterback is gonna be um, by, you know, you know that's on you. You're you're gonna have to realize, okay, maybe resigning with um, Washington wasn't the right move, but we'll have to wait and see. This is just like I said. It just sucks um, that a former Washington football team player goes to an NFC East rival. Um, that's mm, very hard to... Uh, that's really getting under my skin. Um, so, it is what it is. Just... Uh, mm, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Um... I cannot wait to see what other, you know, you know, other people are thinking. Let me know what you guys think about Ryan Kerrigan signing with the Philadelphia Eagles. I think it's a form of, of you know, he's a free agent. You know, he can do whatever he wants. He wasn't too happy with Washington last season, not giving him the right snaps. But um, you know, you decide to go to Philadelphia, so um, that's just I'm not I'm not gonna thank you. I'm not, um, you know, I, you probably would have given, I probably would have given you a, a, a thank you video for your, for, you know, your time in Washington. And I know 
that look, Washington, the past, the ten years that you were here were not in winning modes. You know, let's let's look at it. You know, you were drafted when 20, 2011? I want to say twenty eleven. Five and eleven your first year. Um, twenty twelve made it to the playoffs, but got bounced out by the Seattle Seahawks. Twenty thirteen, three and thirteen season. Um, twenty fourteen, um, four and twelve season. 2015, 9 and 7, win the division, go there. Um, let me see. Um, 2015, win a playoff, go to the playoffs, but get bounced by the Packers. 2016, didn't go to the playoffs, but had a winning record. 2017, 7 and 9. 2018, 7 and 9. 2019, 3 and 13. So obviously, I maybe it's just Washington. Um, you know, wasn't in winning modes, and I think you want to win now, but really, you want to go to Philadelphia's team that isn't in win now mode. They're not. They're rebuilding. You should. I would have understood if you went to a, like a tougher team, like a um, Kansas City Chiefs, like a um, maybe a not Tampa Bay Buccaneers because those guys are stacked, but New Orleans Saints maybe. But you decide to go over to another rebuilding team? Wow. Wow. Your, your decision-making is also um, a little bit to be desired. But we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. Let's see if you pan out with Philadelphia. So, um, Alrighty, guys. That'll do it for this video. Before I rant on and on and on and on. Um, so, like I said at the beginning, uh, if you're new to my channel, you like what you hear, you like what you see, give me a subscribe. Um, share this video with your friends and family. Comment because I'd like to know your thoughts. Leave me a like. Until then, guys, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.